Hello, my soccer universe. I really wish I was wearing a different jersey. Really, 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 really. But you already knew that I was short for this midweek. And then everything went pear shaped rather quickly. But let's talk about it later. I was actually thinking of going through it semi chronologically, but I want to keep it uh, within countries and let's do it that way. We have actually quite a few leaks to work on uh, and I think this is now the officially last review video where we're having so many different leaks and competitions pulled together so I hope you don't mind and let's hop right into it. Uh, we'll start in the second German Bundesliga where the Monday evening game between Hamburg and Holstein Kiel was actually quite a big one. I Sorry, I didn't see it. I saw the highlights and this was quite the game. Uh, Holstein Kiel took an early lead and then Hamburg turned it around within two minutes. Uh, penalty by Aaron Hunt and Poyan Palo in the 2023rd. And that's how it went to halftime. And then um, again, another crazy se sequence where uh, Holstein gets the equalizer, but Hamburg puts it or pulls it right back and it was a rather even game with Hamburg having the advantage and just when I thought that they had secured the win and going up to the promotion spot Jay Sung Lee um, strikes back gets the ball I mean there was a defensive error and puts in the net in the stoppage time it is 3-3 three, three. so uh, if we look at the results from the weekend all top three teams have not won and everything stands as it is meaning that who is on top has a slightly better chance to see there was also another makeup game uh, between the Dresden and Greuther Fürth Fürth took a lead but Dresden got the equalizer but that's all I know about that one and so if you look now at the table um, yep uh, Bielefeld looks even more certain now they have a hundred percent chance of being promoted and are more or less champions Stuttgart also pretty safe in the promotion spot and for Hamburg Hamburg yeah, uh, they probably take the relegation place we have still a few games to play also have in mind uh, Bielefeld has a game in hand against whom against Dynamo Dresden who actually I see that um, has now a chance against Bielefeld. Yeah, if they would win that, uh, that one, they would actually get out of the relegation zone. It's uh, pretty hard, so they will probably stay down there. Let's stay in Germany. German Cup. Um, I didn't see the first semi final because I didn't expect it to be much of a game. Leverkusen having no trouble disposing of Saarbrücken 3 0. I also only saw the second half of Bayern against Frankfurt, uh, where Perisic gave Bayern in the 14th minute the lead, and then it really seemed um, like it will end the way that the Bundesliga game between those two teams uh, will end. But it remains only 1-0 at the half and I am looking then at the game uh, and when I'm watching I have to say it was actually quite enjoyable and Frankfurt was very well in the game, especially the front with Andre Silva, um, uh, Gacinovic and Rode, they were moving quite nicely and they actually get the equalizer in the 69th, Dani Da Costa. Uh, after Frankfurt already had a few chances from corners and so on. And I was thinking about it, you know, I don't have Frankfurt jersey and I looked, yeah, I really would like to have one with Markus Weissenberger on, on, on it's just a little bit too expensive. And it, I've been seeing for, for quite a while that I would really would like to have. Uh, and I'm looking, are there others, are there others, are there others, and I'm saying, no. Let's not look enough because whenever I look, whenever this happens, especially now with the Bundesliga, this team ends up losing. And I turn off the fall at that second. Alfonso Davis is not offside, puts it to the center, and Lewandowski slams it into the empty net. Two on Bayern, and there was no coming back for Frankfurt this time. Um, they tried, it was not impossible, but they never actually got, I think they got only one shot off. Yeah, and that was that. And Bayern is in the final, and as I predicted, it's Leverkusen against Bayern on the 4th of July, playing against each other. Uh, Portugal was also very, very interesting. Uh, Setobal Santa Clara, the 2-2, probably not so much. 
But what was happening uh, with Befica in Portimonense, not the Portimonense is a bottom dweller in um, the pre, uh, Primera Division, uh, Liga Nosh. And Benfica had no trouble through Pizzi and Almeida getting two uh, goals, probably having a few more chances to uh, even extend it, but they seemed safe. And then they thought they can play, play safely home. However, within 10 minutes, Daniel and Junior Tavares, 66 and 76. They equalize and Benfica cannot find another goal and Benfica again drops the ball. If Benfica would have won now twice in a row, they would be rather clear on top. Rather clear on top, but they cannot uh, do that. And so Porto does not have much of a showing, but Corona in the fifth minute with a crazy shot out of nowhere makes it 1-0 and then more or less hangs on. Maritimo really tried to get uh, the goal, but um, cannot. I saw the goal, I saw there was a red card given for Port Porto and there was a big chance to at the end for Mar Maritimo. But um, they hang on and they take, it's Porto, they take the lead in the uh, egg again and now are set uh, also favorites to get this title and we'll see about the rest as it will happen. Let's stay on the Iberian Peninsula because I didn't see, the, I didn't talk about it in the run-up, but Rayo had to finish their game against Albacete yesterday, uh, which was this game that was abandoned because of chance against a Ukrainian striker who is actually a Nazi and then uh, supposedly a Nazi, given whatever of pictures he has um, posted on. And of course, Rayo being so left-leaning uh, really made his uh, game hell and the game was abandoned at halftime. Very, very contentious circumstances. I think uh, this abandoning of, of, of the game now, and I, I don't want to get too much into, the, into politics these days, but it's clear uh, that I support largely, if not fully, uh, what's well, well, what's going on on the on stage? But that this game had to be abandoned is is a joke, to 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 be honest. Rayo wins. I think they just uh, had to play the second half and Rayo wins it one nil at the restart, um, which basically puts them now in in contention. You saw already yesterday when we were talking about uh, um, La Liga dos standings. Let's move to Austria. I'm still not over what happened yesterday. You see the results here. Um, on Tuesday, all, it was, it's only a way wins except for one between Tirol and Martersburg, uh, which didn't help. I think the big game on Tuesday was Austria against Artach, where Artach very quickly got the win. Uh, last Grapid. I don't know what's happening. They, Lask is acting so unlucky these days it's unbelievable the game was kind of a tense not very pretty affair to watch in the first half um lots of high press ping pong the, uh, there was not much possession it was really uh almost crazy and not very sightly to watch but it's almost what you expected uh the one real good chance was for trauma which probably should already have been a uh, goal second half Right on from, from the get go, Hofmann elbows Ragush into the, uh, into the face, and there's no penalty pal given. He had his birthday, and um, you know, I don't think he broke the nose. I don't know now, but uh, he seriously was imp impact. And, and you, you 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 could see that whenever he had to go to a header, he was kind of not so willing to go through the pain there. Didn't really matter because for the first 15, 20, 20 minutes, Lusk totally controlled and pressed Rapid into their own half. They could not get out. It was pure down down the domination and there were chances. Ragush with a shot, um, a header by Ragush that went over and uh, later Klaus came on, had a pretty good shot that, uh, that was deflected. There were chances there, but I already said around the 60th minute. I'm, I, I was actually thinking the bad thought, but I said, I'm not going to voice. I said, I said to my wife, I think there's not more than one goal in this game. Uh, despite all the, the dominance, the ball again doesn't want to go in. I was getting desperate, and I then 
then you hear from the commentator suddenly, yeah, with the result at nil nil, both teams would leapfrog Wolfsberg to go second and third respectively. And I said, I re really need this win. We really would need this win. But okay, the draw, I take it uh, if need be. And then Marlis had just finished the thought and then our defender Wiesinger right at the goal, wants to play a back pass towards goal and there's Taxi Fontos intercepts it and makes the one nil with the first shot of goal on goal by Rapid in the first half. They were not even coming close to anything. They were not even coming close. They were so, I mean, ah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. And it makes me so angry because it's Rapid. This is a team that is now overperforming. They're not only profiting from the friggin' uh, format of the league, where I uh, have points and suddenly you're in contention for a Champions League spot, but they're also playing shittily. I mean, they're in two home games. They were completely dom dom dominated by Lasko. Lasko didn't get a single goal. They'll even lose one 4 0, which at the time I said, yeah, you knew for 60 minutes who's better. And then it was 2 uh, two nil through 2. Uh, due to two free coincidence and again the same thing and that exactly those that are actually hitting on Lusk the most because they don't like to be pissed at which they should be I cannot tell you um, of course uh, the nice thing is uh, they had a chance I thought they will get the equalizer because that's just how it, how, 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 how it often goes because the moral in the team is actually all good and yeah, they get the free kick and Michael hits it on the top, top, top of the bar. So this makes another woodwork. We hit the woodwork like crazy. We're the most accurate team in, in, in the league. We just cannot hit the goal. Just <sighs> still getting very, very ang angry about that one. And I have to say, I mean, the other game, Hardback winning 4-2 after being 2-1 down at half. Um, is what would have been such a great result if you get that win you're fully back where you should should be and now you thanks to that you didn't dig, dig, dig yourself a, a big hole but it still it should never have gotten that far and then uh, Salzburg 5 on the over Sturm uh, Sturm is just nowhere and I hate that we're not playing Sturm next but we're playing Salzburg next so everything is going the wrong way way in so many ways <sighs> at least repeat plays Wolfsburg so one of those will stay close in worst case so if you look at the table now here I'm, 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 I'm just mad on that uh, not only the six points which I hope will be uh, rescinded but now we have uh, four points behind repeat uh, Pete is also favorite to take the Champions League spot. The only thing that I have to say, this doesn't guarantee a group stage place. Where a third spot would guarantee a Europa League uh, group group stage. And I actually think maybe we should aim for the third place and have that secured. And Rapid then should um, fall through the first round in Champions League qualification and fall through the next round, uh, the qualification or the playoffs for the Europa League. I just uh, would love it. Uh, Hartberg suddenly finds themselves in a, a European contention. Um, no, this is not going the right way. And it's the lower part, the part of the table, there's so much flip-flopping there. It's so tight. Now Tirol is again in last place, but it seems like every week uh, everything can change. Anyway, I cannot produce a coherent video. I'm just really uh, struggling with what Lask is doing because they're playing well. But being so unlucky, it's just, I cannot believe it. I mean, I know we had at the beginning of the season some, some trouble finding the net. I hope there will come the time when we just, the flood gets open. That's what needs to happen. It's a mystery to me. It's a mystery of how you can have, uh, be showered, can be showered with bad luck that much. Anyway, trying to stay coherent. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.